Good evening. So, just finished evening prayer and getting ready since my son actually fell asleep early. Uh, getting ready to get in some more reflection time, more mental prayer. Um, I was able to spend a little bit uh, while I was driving, um, but I need some more. Um, so, I plan on doing some journaling and um, kind of just reflecting over my day a little bit. Um, I don't really think I'm going to do a, a formal examine of consciousness, but um, I might just do that. Um, but, you know, normally um, I would love to make it to daily mass in any given day, but between uh, the coronavirus and having a small child in mass, um, that's just not feasible for me right now. So, um, in this season of my life, um, I just settle for um, reading the readings and watching or reading a homily or reflection um, for now. So, you know, it's prayer is not a competition. <laughs> you don't get points. <laughs> um, and I am so uh, grateful that so many of you do uh, get to go to Mass. Um, on a more daily basis. Um, but, you know, sometimes uh, you're called to find God walking among the pots and pans uh, more so than other times in our lives. So um, right now, it's a lot of pots and pans. Um, you know, I'm not a bored kind of a person. I, you know, serve at my parish through our life teen uh, ministry to our teens, our high schoolers. Um, I help out with our local Blessed Is She women's group. Um, I freelance, edit, and write, mostly Catholic <laughs> editing and writing. Um, you know, I spend too much time on social media and texting and calling my friends and, um, you know, all the things that go into having a small child, especially now when we are limited as to our outside activities. Um, so it's the mommy show a lot of times. So all of the crafts and stories and playing outside uh, that goes with that and cleaning. Um, and there's all of the wifely homemaking duties of being a stay-at-home mom and stay-at-home wife. Um, you know, I try to exercise when I can. I watch too much TV, probably. And, uh, you know, I spend, I spend too much time, you know, buying books I'll never get around to reading because I have too many books. But there's no such thing as too many books. Anyway, but, um, you know, there's a lot uh, that God has called me to and has blessed me with and has... Um, He's given me a lot of uh, work for my hands to do. So um, I'm thankful that uh, my Carmelite vocation is in and through and feeds and is blessed by, um, you know, everything. It's a seamless garment um, or a baptismal garment that is just enhanced by uh, the scapular, as uh, Father Mike Woost likes to say. Um, and I think it's really summed up, um, I was given this prayer card by a friend of mine uh, when I was beginning my, my journey into the Carmelites. And um, this friend is actually a Capuchin friar right now. Um, he's a very holy guy. But he gave me this prayer card that has a quote from St. Therese. And it says, even now I know it, yes, all my hopes will be fulfilled, yes. The Lord will work wonders for me, which will surpass infinitely my immeasurable desires. Um, and so I just think that is the perfect um, summary of what life as a secular Carmelite looks like for me. Um, and it's going to look different for everyone. But um, as I said before, I love that about our community, that we uplift each other and build each other up and... Um, we're all coming from different places, but we have Our Lady in common, and we have our Lord in common, and that journey towards Him um, and towards the cross together. Um, and so, 
thank you for spending the day with me a little bit and uh, I hope that uh, you found some encouragement, um, maybe you laughed, maybe you laughed uh, a few times during this and um, yeah, I'll see you in the cross, I'll see you in the mass. <laughs>